what's up besties welcome back to another episode of financial fridays on financial fridays we just sit down we have a talk um, with myself or maybe a guest and we focus on the topics that we don't get to cover all the time and just doing our regular budget with me videos i hope that you find this series to be helpful please make sure that you share the videos go back and watch them again if you have any questions and as well as leave me topic suggestions down below in the comment section and for those who have not seen me before, I'm Malay Michelle and I'm your new best friend. So go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the debt avalanche versus the debt snowball. So if you guys have been having any questions or want to know more, then make sure you stay tuned. All right, I laugh every time I talk about the debt snowball versus the avalanche method because that's literally how Shay and myself met. And she slid in my DM, she was like, why did you do this method versus this one? I was like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> because I was like, what do you mean? And at first I was like, I don't even know. Like I just got this, you know, from sitting down with my brother, talking to him about how I could get out of debt. And he was telling me the method that he used and that he had, you know, talked to his financial advisor about, and this is what was advised to him. So of course, you know how we do, we get advice from, you know, someone and we share with others. That's how life is. So if you don't know about another method, then you won't do it. So there's the debt avalanche and then there's the debt snowball. Now, the one that I prefer is actually the debt snowball, only because I tell you guys all the time that money is not just something that is tangible, it's actually an emotional attachment as well. So if you start thinking about the emotions attached to when you pay off things, how you feel, the debt snowball plays into that emotion and it makes you wanna keep going. The debt avalanche method, now that's a little bit different. Now it's only different because of what they each have to do with. So debt avalanche deals with your highest interest rate and the debt snowball deals with your smallest balance. The difference between the two, again, interest rate, smallest balance. When you're dealing with your smallest balance, you are literally still paying all of your bills the same way. You're just taking any extra money and applying it to that small balance to get that paid off. Then you'll be in pay that off and boom, you can apply that next amount. So let's just say for instance, you are paying off a credit card and you're paying $25 as your minimum payment and you have a $500 balance. So now you've decided you have an extra $100 a month that you're gonna put towards it. So in five months, you're paying it off, well actually four, in four months you're paying it off because you are paying your regular payment plus you're paying an extra hundred dollars right so in four months you being paid that bill off so now you can apply 125 dollars to your next smallest balance plus the regular payment and you just keep doing that same thing pay it off apply it to the pressure to the next one apply it to the next one and it just keeps going and before you know it you are debt free just by paying off those small bills now, the avalanche method, on the other hand, again, deals with your highest interest rate. Pause. So over here, we have the smallest balance, but you are still accruing interest on those other bills that have not been paid yet. So don't forget, there's still going to be interest piling up. So depending on how quickly you begin your debt snowball and how fast that works for you will also be the outcome of how much money you've actually saved or spent by still having those balances with the interest up there. So that's just something else. Okay, back over here to the avalanche method. Now the avalanche method just really focuses on that high interest rate, okay? So for example, if you have a car and your car balance is, let's say it's $16,000 and then you have a credit card and your credit card balance is $6,000. Your car balance has an interest rate of 3.7 and your credit card has an interest rate of 16.9. Which of those bills are you gonna pay first based on the avalanche principle? You're gonna be paying your credit card. So although it has the smaller balance, it does have the higher interest rate. So you wanna attack that one first, getting that high interest rate out the way so that in turn, you're able to save more money on the end because you have paid that quicker and you've gotten rid of having to pay any extra interest on that particular bill. 
I hope that was easy to understand. I'll make sure I kind of like leave some notes or something on the website. I'll have a sheet and stuff like that for you guys to get started on some things over on the website. But I really wanted to make sure I stress that that's the difference is that you're focusing on either your interest rates or you're focusing on your smaller balance. And again, everything is emotional for me. I, I think that when I start attaching emotions to my money, the like realistic emotions that you feel when you're either you're spending your money or you're saving your money, there's all sorts of emotions attached to it. I feel so happy when I know that, oh, I've just taken care of a bill. I've knocked that one out. And it's a lot easier to do the debt snowball and knock those bills out and apply that pressure to the next bill versus the interest rate. You may not have a lot of money to throw at that high interest rate bill. So it's still gonna take you a while to do so, but I guess in the long run, you'll be able to save on the interest. I chose the debt snowball method after I did some um, <laughs> debt avalanche methoding. Um, I did that because I had like a bonus check and I also had taxes to come back. So I was able to take care of large chunks of bills. Like I was able to just knock out the bill with the highest interest and move on with my life. But after I finished doing that, I decided I would do the debt snowball because it made more sense for my student loans and different things like that. That made more sense for me. So you can determine which method makes more sense based upon your financial situation. Again, I highly recommend you using the debt snowball. It's just a lot more motivating for you to use and it just keeps you going because you know and you can see your progress. Versus the debt avalanche, you may not be able to see your progress right away. In fact, you may see your progress in the end versus seeing it along the way. You'll just see it when it actually happens. And that's okay too. You just have to pick the method that works best for you. Over on the website, I'll have a link down below so you guys can get into the debt snowball worksheet that I have. It's a whole spreadsheet that all you have to do is plug and play, put in your numbers. It'll tell you how long it'll take you to be debt free, all of that. Like it's super duper easy and it's an Excel or Google Sheets worksheet that you guys can get. And all you have to do is go to the website down below and click on there and you can download it. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them down below in the comment section. If you have other topics you wanna to talk about, make sure you leave those as well. We're gonna be having some guests. I'm really excited, you guys, because Financial Fridays is really coming along. And I'm so, so, so excited that you guys are excited about it. That was the comment section like, girl, yes, here for it, yes, ma'am. So let me know what you guys wanna do for the next topic. And I'll be sure to try to leave more information again on my website so you guys can have things to read, have things to reference, so that you're not just hearing it from me, you can hear it from other people. I think that's what works the most. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Which method are you choosing to use? Is it the debt snowball or is it the debt avalanche? <laughs> Still thinking about how Shay slid in my DMs. I think that is so funny. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful night and I will catch you on next Friday's Financial Friday. Mwah. KK, bye!